Hi guys, it's Blackie. Okay, following along with the Being Sneaky series, we're going to talk about the most simple trip line you can make. Now this is a quick leave it type detection system. All this is is a super simple trigger mechanism where I have a line under load. Now that can be a weight being held up over a limb. That can be some sort of box trap being held up. That can be some sort of big old limb bent down to be an alert system for me for camp security. The whole thing is it's a super simple, very hard to spot and easily made in just moments trigger system. And this is the one I was taught when I was a little boy by my elders as a way to indicate that something had been in there or that I had somebody coming up behind me where I didn't want to be snuck up on. Okay, we'll just say it that way. So the whole idea was it was something you could make quickly with a pocket knife. And let me show you how we do it. It's super simple. Okay, I've taken my number 12 bank line. I've gone over here and I've already anchored it to that tree right there that you can see in the background bobbing up and down. Now what I've done is I've come here because I want this trip line to go across here. I want it to let me know if somebody's coming through this way, okay? Now this could be for fishing. I could use this for emergency survival fishing where I'd bend a limb down and hook this trip on and then put the line out of the water. So when the fish pull it, boop, set the hook, put him up. I could use this for a snare to grab a rabbit out of a hole right here where I put the line down and put it so boop, and pull him up in the air. I could run it across here so if a vehicle comes through this road, boop, it comes up and that warns me. Suppose I got a couple of beer cans up in that thing, makes noise. Or suppose I want to hear somebody walking on this trail that when they trip it, brrr, beer cans or something make noise and let me know there's somebody up on that trail. It's just a simple engine. It's just a simple trigger. The purpose and how you apply it is up to you, but it's a super simple way to do it. So what I'm going to do is I've got here and I've cut a notch. Let me show you the notch. Right here is that notch. I know you can hardly see it. That's one of the reasons I like to carry a Swiss Army knife with a saw on it. What I've done is I've come in here with my saw blade, and I hope the camera will stay focused on it, and I've just made a cut in there, just a couple of quick draws is all it was, just to make a nice 90 degree cut straight into that line. See, it blends in, you can't even see it. Now, right here on this side, I'm gonna make a little chip out with my blade. Not much, but right there at it, I'm gonna put below it and pull up to that notch. And I'm gonna put above it, and I'm gonna pull down to that notch, just like that. So it's just a little skint place right there. Nothing to attract a lot of attention. Now I'm gonna snap off a twig, and let me back up so you can see this a little bit better now. Now I'm gonna make a Marline spike hitch, but where? First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up my line. I'm gonna put it in that notch, and I'm gonna pull it down to the load that I want. How far down? Right about there. All right, I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna mark it. I'm gonna take out and I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna put that Marline spike hitch in. I just make a loop, pass it uphill just like a trucker's hitch, and pass the stick through it. And then pull, snapping it down to where it's a small piece. Just like that, centering it up. All right, now I'm going to pull it and I'll put that line right in that notch, just like that. See, it wants to roll out automatically. If I let go, bing, it's gone. Now I'm going to deepen that notch around this way, just a little bit, until I make it where it sits in there. Give myself a little slack there. Come in further around the corner now, and just do a little bit more in that notch. 
just like that. Roll it up here close, pull it down, put in that notch, and bring it just like that. Just like that. Okay, see it's in there. Now I would take this line and I'll go over here and I'll set up on what I want. The whole object of the game is you don't notice this notch at all. It doesn't attract attention. It lay in there. It looks like a broken limb. doesn't attract nothing. But I put this line out here. But just a little bitty bump to it. Boom. And that tree lip comes up. Show you that again. Hook it in. Hook it around. Let it sit in there. Boom. Ready to go. Just a little bitty bump on this. I mean just pick and it's gone. Because of that, now I can load this up. Set that notch into that right there. If I want it even more sensitive, I hook this loop up here around the top of the little stick. Now it's hypersensitive. If I want it less sensitive for whatever reason, I can hook it up in there and hook it. And I just leave the line loose out of it. So it's got to kind of tug it a little bit. See? Tug, tug, tug. Boof. So like a vehicle or something versus the breeze wouldn't do it. But if I hook it in here and hook it to the top like that, and don't let go, because remember this tree is wiggling and that tree is wiggling. Now I just come up here and hook it around that top where I split it slightest little pull boom right out so I can adjust the tension on it how sensitive do I want it and all that is is a stick and a piece of string hooked to some sort of engine could this hold up the end of a log if this cord's strong enough yes you know for a drop trap of some kind for some other kind of trap for a snare to be the trigger on a Malaysian whip to go sideways all of the above. It's a super, super simple trigger. And that's the whole thing. Now let me show you how I put the line in, uh, the uh, toggle end of the line. Okay, all you do is just like a trucker's hitch. You grab and twist and make a loop. Okay? Now you take that loop and you fold it over and you reach through and pull the line through like that. See it around my finger? Just like that. And I take that little stick and I go in there where my finger is. Now when I pull it, it will anchor on both sides and hold that little toggle in place. See, but there's no knot. It's just a loop like a trucker's hitch. And if the tension on this line tries to pull that tight, and as you, maybe it'll focus on that. Let's see. It's just a loop around it is all it's doing. And because of that, it holds tension. And it can't slide forward or back. It's right there. But at the same time, to get it out, all I have to do is grab the side and pull. And the tension will come right out and the knot disappears so I can reclaim my cordage. Because suppose I want to go down here at the bottom of this hill and fish. And I want to know if anybody else is coming up the trail behind me for whatever reason. I can bend down a great big old limb like that and put a couple of Coke cans or beer cans with rocks just hanging in it or sitting in it or whatever. And I can pull this line down good and tight. Hook that little trip and run me a little trip wire across there. That number 12 bank line just disappears in the woods. You don't notice it. And therefore, when they bump into it, I hear them. Could this be used in survival to set up a drop line for fishing? Absolutely. Just bend down a good limb, hook it, and put my hooking line out on that, and that little toggle in line, up it goes. Snet sets the hook. And at the same time, I haven't had to tie any complicated knots. The loop up in the tree is just a big loop I tied that I can pass this whole roll of line through. So when I'm done with this, I can reclaim my line. I haven't left it. I don't have to sacrifice it. It's something super simple and easy. I like simple because usually simple is useful. Once you start playing with this, 
And then after you're done, I mean, there's a little skint place there. This tree is going to survive. It's only got a half inch cut in it. Only the outer bark is alive, so the tree is going to grow back over that and probably be perfectly fine and viable. So I haven't permanently damaged the tree. I haven't had to carve anything. I haven't had to do anything. One cut, a little notch, and a piece of a round stick. That's it. When I was taught this, it was for a tripwire proximity alert to let you know somebody's coming or to tell that somebody had been somewhere because on that end of the line where I hook on the other end, it may be tied or just simply hooked to something. Maybe I put on the other end of this line the can full of rocks and everything that's across it. When you kick that line, bink, and it goes brrr, and drags it up giving away their position. Things like that make a difference. Both of my uncles served in World War II in Korea. And as my uncle said, who spent a lot of time on Guadalcanal and a lot of other stuff, he said, you learn how to do trip wires real quick to let you know somebody's coming from that direction, especially at night. And I learned from them. Hope you've enjoyed this, guys. If you enjoy this kind of content, please hit that like, share, and subscribe button for me. And put down in the comments anything like that that you've learned over the years. I'd love to hear from you. Till next time, guys, I'm Blackie wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.